Welcome back, folks. This is Swap, and today we have two boxes of Romance Dawn to open up. Let's hope we pull something good today. So, without further ado, let's begin. Alrighty, let me go ahead and pull up one of these boxes over to the side, and we'll go ahead and start opening this one up. It should go by much quicker than the last video, because now we've kind of seen all the cards. We don't have to go by card by card with, really. We're just going to kind of um, quick quickly go through some of the hits and then just see what we got going on there so let's go ahead and pile up all of our nice little booster packs over here and let's just go ahead and get started i did get a little bit better at opening the packs near near the end of the last video so let's go ahead and see we have here uh dog storm arlong there we go we have our rare robin to start us off today I'm not, sorry if i'm a little bit unaligned there let me just go ahead and realign myself with the camera here that first one might have been a little sloppy let me see if we can open this one up and i'll go ahead and check the camera this time and then we have double finger hiogoro kunamasaki leader law and we have here punk gibson rare these packs have been pretty good pretty awesome to open up they're really fun i can't wait for the english ones to come out so we can get some english cards here but definitely want to complete this set in Japanese. At least this first set to see what we got. And here we have our super rare Kid. This is the regular alt. Really awesome card. Especially if you're playing um, mono green with Kid right now. It's just a really good wall deck. And it's just really hard to beat, man. It's really meta defining. Maybe if you're playing like purple and you have the Kaido going on. Then maybe you stand a chance. We have here Moria with a double attack. Really strong card for blue. Let's see if we can pull off some alternate arts pretty quickly i know there's supposed to be at least one alt art guaranteed per box and hopefully we can pull that one up and there is our secret rare regular art shanks have not yet pulled shanks yet so this is really awesome to see that we have shanks going on here really awesome card for the red uh color here nine cost ten thousand power really awesome with the foiling they have this like really glossy background and you can see like the sword is also all foiled up. You have the gold border for it being a secret rare. Really, really dig this card. Hopefully we can get an alt art of Shanks. I know the alt art of Shanks is supposed to be really hard to pull off. I don't know if we're going to get what type of good alt art or not. Hopefully we get a Nami or a Boa Hancock. Shanks would be pretty good too. Or Yamato. One of those big hitters. But definitely really awesome there. Let's see if we can get another big hit within this one box. So we have here, we have our comments, Monet, Kanjuro, Kamazon. There's our rare that is Jack with a regular foiling in the background. And also his blade is foiled out there too. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pack we got over here. And what do you guys think? Are you are some of you guys trying to collect any of Japanese cards at all? Or are you just waiting for the English release? Do you enjoy seeing the packs open up early? There's Uta, my personal favorite. Going to be making a whole wall of Uta rares with all that foil and you can kind of see like the little glitter foils on the back oh i never even realized that her headphones have like that blue foil on them that's actually really cool i've never noticed that before until now really dig that little detail there really excited for that film red movie um Uta supposed to be like the daughter of shanks or something like that and she like knows luffy this whole time <laughs> and luffy never mentioned her we have x drake here I think it's supposed to be coming out this month in japan they haven't released any dates for that movie just yet uh we just know that it's supposed to be coming out in the u.s sometime in the fall of this year so hopefully we get that we got momonosuke momonosuke foil there oh and i think i'd never realized it, but if you actually turn around the dawn cards in these booster sets actually have a little advertisement for the film red so that was pretty cool to see i actually didn't notice that until the end of the video and i was like oh <laughs> i should have looked at that in the last video but now we know. Uh, here we go. Round table. Kumurasaki. Not Kumurasaki. Uh, we have Overheat. Our nice little rare event for blue. Let's see if we can get through to the next one. Like I said, much faster going on than the previous video. Now that we've kind of named and seen all these cards. We have page one. Not a fan of this page one in particular. But I know some people who are a big fan of it for some reason. I think it's not, not that great. Minus one Dawn just to be able to attack an active character. I think it just gets blocked by too many things. Um, Cat Viper, Sabori, and we have Caesar Clown. 
as our rare for this card. Oh, and we have an alternate art Dawn, so we're going to add that to our alternate art Dawn collection. We'll be able to get, hopefully, a full set of 10 alternate art Dons by the time we're done with this. Do they guarantee an alternate art Dawn in every box? Because I think I've gotten one per box so far. There's our rare Usopp, really awesome card, four of an every red deck for me. Being able to draw a card whenever an opponent plays an event on your turn, really powerful effect. And plus 2,000 counter. Always love to see plus 2,000 counter. Let's see who we have here. That's Beppo. Beppo is also another plus 2,000 counter for the green cards. Being able to bring out our Heart Pirate. I don't know if anyone's going to really run that effect that often. They might just run Beppo for his 2,000 counter um, text on him. Some decks I've actually done pretty well for just running the cards with 2,000, not even caring uh, what effects they have on them. There's Miss All Sunday. Really love that artwork from Miss All Sunday. Beautiful artwork there. Moving on to the next pack. We have not yet seen an alt art yet, unless the secret card takes place of the alt art. Hopefully not. There's Black Maria. I don't know if we pulled Black Maria in the last box or not. We might have pulled one of her. But a really nice holographic uh, background. Oh yeah, her flowers are holographic. I think we did see it because I'm starting to remember the foil. Talking about the flowers on her head being fo all foiled up. Going through these next packs over here. I'm going to go through Karibu, Alvida, Jinbei, and there is Gum Gum Red Hawk. Really powerful events. Being able to give you plus 4,000 and KOing a 4,000 power or less um person on your opponent's side we got cavendish starting us off and we have here the regular R uh sorry regular art a super rare i believe yes yeah, super rare king king is a really awesome card being able to ko a three cost and a two cost character really is anti-aggro here we got cavendish again we have Officer Aegis, Neko, uh, Dogstar, and here we go. We got Okiku. Okiku, another really strong card. That is a rare for the green cards. Being able to rest a character of 5,000 power or less when it attacks. Let's go ahead, and we're almost done with this first box. We haven't hit that altar just yet. Hoping that that Shanks didn't pull or take out an altar slot. Here we have Jinbei. Jinbei is a nice rare. Uh, being able to, I believe it removes a two cost or less uh, a character card from your opponent and puts them into the bottom of the deck. Though it's very costly for four cost and only 2,000 power. We're going to go ahead and see what we have here. We have our ulti. Ulti is our rare here. Not the, not the alt art ulti that's going for like 40, 50 some dollars, but still an ulti nonetheless. So I can't complain too much. Let's go ahead and open up the next pack here. We have Pacifista starting us off. Carrot, Wire, Shinobu, uh, Paradise Waterfall. And we have the rare uh, Kuma. Kuma being a blocker and being able to summon a Pacifista from your hand whenever he gets KO'd. Really awesome ability there. We have here Bellamy. Uh, here, Orochi. And we have our super rare mihawk this is actually the first super rare that we pulled i think in the first pack actually from their last video so it's good to see him once again and last but not least our last pack for this box we have here don krieg always looking really good here gordon and we have queen so queen is our rare foil so i think getting that secret rare shanks did in fact mean that we're not getting alt arts. I think um, we got regular art. Regular arts. I always mess that up for everything. And here we have our box topper, Alvita. Alvita looking really nice here with the foiling. Her regular card didn't have any foiling, but I love seeing the foiling here on the box topper card. Really nice seeing that the, the little water effects or the wave effects, the background. This is what I expected to see when I originally saw her artwork. But it's nice to see that she has it here for the box topper. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the second box. All right, folks, here we have our second box of the day ready to go. We have all these packs ready to open up and hopefully we get a nice little altar here. It was, was still good pulling off that secret rare Shang. Secret rares are a little harder to pull off than most things, but we do love to see those alternate arts whenever we can. So let's go ahead and open this pack up and just keep on trucking along. 
we have here pacifista carrot uh who's who we have caesar clown being our first rare for this second box really love the the uh, punk hazard art there with caesar clown i really wish they gave caesar clown a better ability but maybe we'll get a caesar clown um leader card in the future we have king leader card and we have thunder bagua thunder bagua being a really powerful effect for the purple cards being able to um, not only give you plus four thousand, but if you're at two life or less you do get to ramp up a rest of dawn so that's pretty awesome there let's go ahead and open this one up we have speed marco uh, mr one and we have nami nami is a really awesome rare to have very powerful effect there for any straw hat deck pretty much a staple it's pretty much required to get four times at first she's just so damn good we have bevan pacifista carrot shinobu and we have black maria and we also did get another altar dawn so let's go ahead and that's her one altar dawn for the box so so far definitely guaranteed one altar dawn per box at least that's what we've seen so far uh shinobu scratch minapu and we have denjiro denjiro is a really awesome character being able to restand two of your rest of dawn back to active whenever he attacks five for seven thousand really powerful card right there hyogoro and we have killer and we have regular art doflamingo he is a rare blocker for the blue cards being able to rearrange the top i believe the top three cards um or it might have been five i can't remember it's either top three or top five that he gets to rearrange so that you can pretty much manipulate where you're gonna draw into we got X Drake, very powerful card, one of my favorites in the whole purple set. Plus 2,000 counter, whenever he is uh, played on the field, you just do minus one Dawn, your opponent has to trash one card from their hand. Really awesome ability there. And we have Miss All Sunday again. Miss All Sunday, I don't think I reviewed her last time, but Miss All Sunday, uh, whenever she gets KO'd, you get to get a block, not a blocker, an event from your discard back into your hand as long as your leader is a baroque works type which is currently crocodile we have two crocodiles in this set we have a rare sanji rare sanji is really awesome to see plus 2000 counter sanji's pretty aggressive though he gets you he can get himself up to 7000 power on his effect alone but you have to draw a life card which isn't but too bad sometimes it's bad depending on the situation Depends on the situation as to when you want to play that or not. We got X Drake. X Drake is really, really strong for the green side. That X Drake will be able to KO a four cost character or less as long as they're rested whenever he gets played. Smiley, uh, Cat Viper, Mr. Three. We got Overheat. Overheat's a really cool rare card. I've seen people bounce their own characters back with Overheat. I think, like, if you're playing Burp, Blurp Kaido or a Crocodile. They'll play who's who, then use overheat to bounce who's who back into the hand. So pretty awesome combo there. We have page one once again. And we're about halfway done with this second box. Hopefully we pull something really awesome. Over here we have Virgo. We have a Usopp. Usopp is really awesome. Right now I don't mind seeing Usopp because I still need to collect at least four of him if I want to play some games with him without making any proxies. I like using these uh, cards that I'm picking up, just to be able to play with them. We got Beppo once again. Maybe do some webcam battles with people on Discord, something like that. So I hate having to go through the process of like printing out proxies, putting them on a sleeve and whatnot. I'd rather just take the card right here and just put it in a sleeve, call it a day, instead of having to go through that whole process of printing proxies. But I'll probably have to go through that process anyways for some of the starter decks because I only have one starter deck for each color. And here we have Alt Art Crocodile. Alt, Alt Art Crocodile, really awesome to see here. Super rare, really love. I'm big. I'm a big personal fan of Crocodile myself. Only a few more packs. I don't think we we're gonna get any other big hits now that we got our alternate art there, but might as well finish out the box and see what else we have. Maybe there'll be a nice surprise for us. At the end, we have Kinemon. Nice to see Kinemon. We definitely want at least four Kinemons for that Odin deck. Odin being a really awesome card, or sorry, Odin being a really awesome archetype for the deck, but it is kind of like a one-sided deck. There's only really one way to play it because it does rely on just Wano characters 
you have another super rare kid love seeing super rare kid because he is a really strong meta defining card right now want to see some zoros man where are these super rare zoros I have not pulled him just yet i don't think we have jack we have a nice foil rare jack jack's not too bad whenever he attacks do minus one down make your opponent discard a card could be a fun little thing but I think there's some other better options there. You have our Uta. Love seeing Uta. Like I was saying earlier, going to make a whole wall of Utas. She's going to be my backdrop. In the future, you're going to see a whole lot of Uta in the backdrop instead of these uh, boxes you have going on back here. And we're going to get Momonosuke. I think that makes four Momonoskes now. So we can definitely build an Odin deck now that we have four Momonoskes. Now we just need a few more Kinemons and we're all set. Let's see what we got. Dawn Krieg. We got Scratchman Apu. We got regular Crocodile. So that's the regular art for the super rare Crocodile that we saw earlier. Really awesome to see there. Open this one up. And let's see what we got going on. Hyogoro, Mocha, Round Table. And we have super rare Kaido. Super rare Kaido being a really powerful effect. Uh, being a very powerful card. Definitely needed for any purple decks out there. Especially if you're running Kaido. And we have Alvita again, so it's nice to see that we got another box topper, Alvita. Alrighty, let's go ahead and recap what we got for our super rare hits today. We have two copies of Kid. We had one King, one Mihawk, one Kinemon, one Kaido. We had one Crocodile. We had our secret rare Shanks pull, pulled off there. Really awesome to see that secret rare Shanks. And last but not least, we had our one Altar Crocodile. Crocodile being... One of my personal favorite Warlords. Love seeing that background on Crocodile as well. It's going to be a really awesome card here. Love to see the alt art for him. That's going to do it for today, folks. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you think about these pulls. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe. It helps me out a whole lot. And you'll be able to enjoy more content like this in the near future. So with that being said, I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.